Hey folks, this is all about Androids.com, and today we have CoinDroid version 1.0.1. This was released on the 28th of April 2012. It might be new to you guys, CoinDroid, but it is basically a merge between two of the really famous and great ROMs for the HTC Sensation. One is Schnizlon's Ordroid ROM, and the other is Banyu's Insert Coin ROM. They mutually decided to uh, collaborate and create a combined ROM mainly because they both aim for the same thing. They wanted to have a really stable and performance oriented Sense 4.0 ROM for the Sensation. Um, this is roughly the initial release so there hasn't been much of a change between the Ordroid ROM and the CoinDroid ROM. But I have to say that um, we've been using it for a few hours and it does a decent job. Okay. So let's get into what has happened with this release. Uh, straight off the bat, we have the usual updated brick kernel. So let's go to about and software. So like I mentioned, of course, you get the latest uh, Android version 4.0.4, Sense 4.0, there's CoinDroid, and uh, the kernel brick version has been increased to version 1.055. Uh, we might have seen many times before the brick kernel comes with the sweep to wake uh, cool function right there and um, some other improvements as well overclocking wise if you take a look it does allow you to overclock all the way to 1944 megahertz which is really really high I haven't seen another ROM with that much overclocking but again I do not really recommend to overclock it at that speed um, you might overheat the CPU and it might damage your phone's uh, motherboard and you won't be able to use it anymore. So let's move uh, on to the change uh, log for this. Uh, the first thing we have is a fixed keyboard layout for the French. So it's Azerty instead of QWERTY. This has been changed and the layout has been fixed. I think they had some issues before, but now this has been fixed. The brightness mod that we have from CM7, CM9, so Cyanogen mod, uh, brightness mod uh, bar has been fixed. Um, again, it is... Uh, still like in a testing uh, kind of phase it works majority of the time but sometimes it does uh, glitch and pause so right there but um, I have to say it's a nice feature it helps a lot of times if you want to quickly turn off the display and when you want to save battery life we have a new wallpaper so as you can see CoinDroid pretty basic just with the Android robot and a nice fonted um, text we have, of course, the improved import, uh, performance, which happens with all releases. And lastly, we have uh, added language, which is Ukrainian. Um, so that's it for the change log wise. And we ran, we ran a benchmark as well, just to give it uh, a shot and see how it did. And uh, roughly, the scores are really uh, smooth. You can take a look. It does a good job for RAM. Pretty high for 3D graphics, and the database input output is pretty high as well. So as a whole, it is a very stable ROM. Haven't noticed any lags, any glitches, um, no force closes so far. And I have to say that uh, we expect a lot from the future releases of this ROM. This has been all about Androids.com. I hope you liked the video. Please comment and subscribe. We'd really appreciate it. We also have a Facebook page, a Google Plus account, and a Twitter. So please add us there as well. Thank you. Bye.